Hi friends. I don't know about you, but even though this pandemic has been going on forever, I've been struggling to find cute masks that are also comfortable to wear all day in my classroom. I decided to try and make some cute masks, and since I don't know how to sew, I'm gonna paint them. I ordered these masks off Amazon. They each came individually wrapped and secured around these little cardboard inserts, which is helpful because I'm gonna use this to keep the mask stretched while I paint it. I'm going to be using this Angelus leather paint. So on this first mask, I wanted to test how well the paint went on and how well it stayed on the stretchy material. So I decided to go with an easy pattern of strawberries and hearts. When I first started painting, the fabric absorbed so much of this green paint that it was obvious it was gonna take a ton of coats. So I switched it up and put a base layer of white matte fabric paint. The fabric of this mask seemed really easy to paint. And once it was dry, the paint stretched and moved with the mask with no problems. So next I wanted to test whether painting on your mask affects the ability for you to breathe with it on. So I'm gonna start with a large design on one side of the mask. I went with a narwhal for this design because that's one of the few things I can draw without having to sketch it out first. I did a white base coat first and then, you guessed it, I painted it in with a rainbow. You always do a rainbow. Don't you know how to do anything else? I know, I know. But rainbows are pretty and they make me happy. I'm like a dog with a squirrel. I see a rainbow and everything else just disappears. After the first coat was dry, I went in with a second coat to blend the gradient a little bit better. I went back and forth between the two colors, adding wet paint to each side and then sort of swirling it back and forth to blend it. I didn't have any metallic fabric paint, so I used an acrylic paint pen to give him a silver horn. I also used paint pens for his face, which, spoiler alert, was a mistake. After putting this on, I really couldn't tell that the mask was painted just from wearing it. The paint didn't bleed through to the white inside layer of the mask, and I didn't notice any difference in breathability. I think if you decide to paint a mask for yourself, that this is the best of both worlds. It came out really cute, but you can still breathe in it. But I still wanted to put it to the ultimate test. Even though I don't think you'd be able to breathe through a fully painted mask, I'm still going to try it. That white matte fabric paint creates such a good barrier that the Angelus paint doesn't bleed through at all. My guess is that it's also gonna create a really good oxygen barrier. What the hell was that? Where did that come from? I don't even remember that happening. I stretched the mask out as much as I could and taped it down so that I wouldn't have as many folds and bumps to paint around. I had this idea for a cute little dinosaur scene. I've got this little chunky Brachiosaurus and a sort of wonky pterodactyl. There's some weird red blobs up here and a tree that I didn't like the first time, so I changed the color. Wait a second. <gasps> That's a volcano. Should we be worried about that? No, it's probably fine. I used Poscas to outline this because I didn't want to mix up a bunch more paint for something that I was fairly sure wasn't going to end up being functional.
that pterodactyl just keeps getting worse. What the hell? Still trying to fix it. <laughs> just give up already. I let the mask dry for a day and then I tried it on. It smells so plasticky that I knew it wasn't wearable. So my hunt for cute masks continues. Just for good measure, I did wash these to see if they would hold up. The strawberry mask came out fine. It looks exactly the same. The narwhal sort of lost his eye, but the acrylic paint on his horn stayed put. And even though I also use paint markers on the dinosaur mask, it came out unscathed. Let me know in the comments where your favorite places are to get cute masks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.